Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and I want you to imagine with me, if you will, a Roomba. A small little circular thing designed to travel through your home and clean up things on the floor. But instead of having a nice soft little bumper for when it uh, gets close to a wall or something like that, it's replaced with machine guns. I call this idea the Doomba. Because it's like a Roomba, but it brings doom instead of clean. Well, I guess you could say it cleans up your enemies from existence. But anyway, building this is going to be interesting because uh, I'm not gonna be able to program it like a real Roomba because I'm just not that familiar with programming logic in Scrap Mechanic. I can only do basic stuff. But we're definitely gonna need some logic because a Roomba, a Roomba is actually tank steering. So in order to make some proper tank steering, I gotta have at least four electric engines in this thing, which is already, it's making this thing pretty big when it comes to Roomba size. So I guess that stands to reason if it's gonna be a Doomba, it should be big and intimidating. So this is, I think, the minimum size pretty much that I can make the wheelbase of this thing. And I should be able to turn this into some type of tank steering. Man, I'm really gonna have to puzzle this thing together to make it as small as possible. All right, so to make this work, we need left forward, left backwards, and then we need right forward and right backwards. Each engine has its own logic gate. So then you just use the logic gates to tell it whether you want the left or right to go forward or backwards or everything to go forward or you get the idea. All right, so if I'm also gonna have machine guns in this thing, that means uh, these are gonna be sticking out of here. And of course, there's not gonna be a nice center point for this. I might just have to do groups of two, groups of two guns, which kind of makes it more machine gunny. Let's get some, how, how, where are my dimensions here? What am I working with? Okay, right now I'm definitely not circular. Okay, I think that is close enough to the circle I'm looking for. Now to put the machine guns on this thing. All right, I've made some progress. I've added all of the cannons or the guns uh, to this thing. Now the difficult thing with this is going to be, uh, it would be really, really easy if they just all shoot at the same time when they detect an enemy, but I think it would be kind of cooler if they were only shooting on the side that the enemy was being detected. This doesn't even, I haven't even thought about like the moving programming yet to actually get this thing to move. But I'm actually gonna be poking some holes in this thing. And before I get to that, I need to add some wedges to this. And these are actually functional wedges, not just to make it look professional and make it look cooler and just be all around better. But uh, I'm gonna be deleting some blocks from the middle here. And these wedges are going to keep the perimeter attached. So I don't accidentally disconnect stuff. All right, so you can see I've got four sets of logic gates and these are all hooked into a repeating circuit that are going to essentially be responsible for each actual side of spud guns. So if any spud gun on one side of this circle, which sounds side of a circle doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's not really a perfect circle as we know, especially when it's on the lift like this. Once I take it off the lift, it looks more like a circle, but each section of logic gate is gonna control all of the spud guns on that side. So if any of them get triggered, they're all just gonna do a spread shot just on one side though. All right, this is already turning into an absolute mess and this thing can't even go yet. I've just hooked up the uh, spud guns. So now, Oh, I didn't even check if that would work yet. I took a big risk there. I put all these sensors on top and I had no idea if it was gonna interfere with its uh, ability to spread out. So now uh, if I'm on this side, you can see that these spud guns over here will start shooting. If I'm on this side, you can see all these spud guns and then all these spud guns and so on. I have the uh, sensor set to a 10 block limit because I feel like I should get close to a thing before it starts trying to doom. So now I have to figure out how to program this thing to go. I feel like it should be always going. Where's the front, by the way? How do we, what's forward? I think this is forward. All right, I think the simplest way is let's just take this one direction at a time. So I'm gonna use the bottom here to add sensors. So if this is forward, we want this to be going forward as long as these sensors are not detecting anything. All right, so that means if I hook this up into that and that, we should have forward when the sensors aren't detecting anything. And let's put a hypothetical wall here. Once it gets close enough to the wall, it should stop going forward, which it does. 
But I also need it to like it should it should turn so I'll have to figure that out later But I need to add oh my god these things this guy should have done the cannons last I need to add some more sensors I think we're gonna try to add some sensors to the bottom of these spud guns so that way they'll actually they'll turn out like that and that'll be useful. All right, so if the sensors on the left get detected, they're gonna activate this gate. And so if we detect something on the left, we wanna turn to the right away from it. So that means we want to activate forward left side and backwards right side. So if there's something over here, it should turn to the right. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we kind of need to have that for like all of this pretty much. All right, so now it should keep turning. This is, we just have it in slow motion right now. Oh, why is it still, are none of those sensors? That sensor is detecting it. Is that, oh, that one sensor literally isn't hooked up. There we go. Are we stuck? Are we actually, did something, did something happen here? What are you trying to do? Like, let me, let me in. There we go. It's trying to go forward. Oh boy, it's trying to go forward and to the right, which isn't working for this right now. All right, this is probably a bad idea, but I feel like if a sensor gets triggered, it needs to stop trying to go forward. I don't know. I knew this was gonna be the hard part. I don't know what to program this thing to do right now. Okay, all right, I think I got it. So. <laughs> These sensors have to also make it stop trying to go forward. And that means every sensor has to go into this stop logic gate. I hope I'm doing this right, because if not, this is going to be terrible to figure out where I went wrong and retrace my steps here. All right, so now anything on the left should make me actually turn in place rather than trying to just turn forward. Yeah, there we go. That, I think, is much much more effective. And then we should just go straight away from it. Ooh, ooh, that turned out well. Literally, it turned out well, away from the obstacle. All right, so now I gotta do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now I believe anything on the right side will trigger the same response. It'll turn pretty much 90 degrees away, well, actually a little bit more than 90 degrees away from it. Maybe we want even less than 90 degrees, but we can deal with that later. I'll just have to delete sensors for that. No problem. Okay, so now we have the issue of what if it's directly in front, though? Because right now, I just have it stop. We need to have it decide to turn some way. So in the event that it literally becomes perfectly straight on with an obstacle, I think I just have to decide which direction it's going to turn. And I think I'm gonna go with right. All right, I think I did it. All of this logic right here is just for the two front sensors. So let, let me show you what this is programmed to do now. We got those two front sensors there. So if only the right front sensor detects something, um, I mean, the right from our perspective right now, here, it's actually, it's not gonna do that well against a single bar, but if only the right one detects something, it'll turn to the left from our perspective, just like this. So it'll avoid that. All right, and now if only the left sensor detects something, it'll turn to the right, just like that. But if there's something that simultaneously triggers both sensors, if it happens to hit a wall flat on like this, then I have it turning to its right automatically. So just like that, and it should just continue on going. And I hope that's pretty much gonna prevent it from getting stuck unless there's like a single bar like this, because unfortunately there's a gap in these sensors right here and uh, a single bar can fall into that gap and then it doesn't, it, it has no sensor feedback to tell it where it needs to go. It essentially becomes invisible. So now, let's see how fast we can make this thing go. I'm gonna bump the engine speed up by two on everything and see how it feels. Okay, that doesn't feel too, but we can go faster than that. There we go. This feels, this feels like Roomba speed, but I kind of want to go faster. All right. This is kind of cool. All right, now what if we have an obstacle? Okay. All right, it's definitely a little fast. It is, all right, we're gonna avoid that now. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This is totally working. 
This is actually working. All right, here's the ultimate test now. We're gonna be running into some off-roading areas. All right, we're gonna avoid that. I feel like this is too fast. Maybe, I don't know. Let's go one notch slower. I think it needs to be more thorough. All right, let's put an obstacle in its path. Okay, we're good. We're good. And yeah, I think I'm going to remove... It's hard to even tell which way it's facing. All right, that's the front. I think I'm going to remove these ones because these ones end up turning it uh, a, away from the wall rather than just perpendicular to the wall. Now we should pretty much go perpendicular. Close enough. All right, I'm just going to put a whole bunch of walls up now. Let's see what you do about this. Let's see what you do about this now, huh? This is working. This is working. We need more walls. We need to confuse it. Find your way out of this one. Wait, what? Oh, that was interesting. It still managed to find its way out, but it paused for a second because I think that wall was wide enough that the sensors over here and over here detected it, which caused it to try to turn left and right at the same time, which made it essentially lock up. But other than that, I think this is looking great so far. And I'm just going to cover it up now. We're going to give it a, a case, I guess, to make it look more like a Roomba. And then we're going to spawn some bots in and stuff. And we're just going to have some fun with this thing. That thing did really, really well over here. I'm very proud of this so far. All right, the Roomba is all painted up, all covered up and ready to go. And uh, I have aggro set to off for me, but aggro set to on for creation. So now bots should try to attack the Roomba. And let's see how well they do. Let's start with a handful of greenies first. Will they aggro the Roomba? No, they don't. They don't seem to be aggroing the Roomba right now. It's interesting. Or if I put it a little bit closer. Hey guys, you want to, uh... You want to aggro the creation? No aggro creations. All right. Aggro creations off. Aggro creations on. They, does this not count as a creation? Because there's not, like, a seat on it? What, what if I slap a seat on it? You know what? Maybe I should just do... Maybe I, maybe I should be the Roomba... And I'll just have them, uh, aggro me. There we go. All right, come after me. Oh, my good. Okay. They, I thought... Did I not set the those sensors? Like, those sensors did not trigger a very... Okay, that's still 10? Really? I guess 10 is pretty close. You know what? It's fine. They gotta get close. It's a Roomba. They gotta get close to in order to trigger it. All right, let's surround the Roomba. All right, here we go. We are surrounded. Pop capsules. Roomba down. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Hey, how'd you get up on here? How'd you get up here? No, no, no. This is not how this works. This is no, no. Hey, okay, come on off. Come on off. There you go. All right, that worked really, really well on the greenies. Let's see how it works on the haybots now. All right, so I don't know if you noticed, but I noticed that it tended to rock a little bit, and that is because the wheelbase is so compacted in the center here. Um, but there is room I can see to move this wheel back a little bit. So I think maybe even back to here. No, that won't work. So I think I'm just gonna, it, it's gonna be a hassle like to rehook up the engines and stuff, but I think I'm gonna remove these wheels and put them back just by a block. There we go, just like that. All right, I think we're all good to go. Let's spawn in a handful of hay bots. We're just gonna also just encircle this thing with hay bots. All right, here we go. Oh my god, it's just, it's a, it's a massacre. I didn't even get to see it. It was too fast. Look at how it's just innocently chugging along and it's such a slow pace. Like, am I doing a good job? Have I cleaned up well? You have cleaned up well, Doomba. There's not a haybot in sight here. All right, we gotta uh, we we gotta put this thing a little bit more to the test. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop capsules. A little bit laggy, but it should be fine. We should we should survive this, right? Uh oh, we're not gonna keep going straight. We just oh no, our worst weakness, and we're fine. Now we're fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is to get out from underneath me. <laughs> what is happening? We're we're crowd surfing. Okay, all right, this is fine. Everything's fine. Hey, 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 get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, we got one little greeny survivor chasing us down. All right, well, uh, oh, I think I'm gonna have to get this guy's attention because for so somehow we got we did not get on the right track. We got way off track. He's just gonna walk up on top. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna literally walk right up on top and hit me. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. This is this is not designed for this. Yep. Yeah, I did. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. <sighs> we need some, uh, we need some vertical protection here. We're going to make this thing even look more intimidating and hopefully be able to protect against those guys coming up on here. All right, I think I've done it. I've created a crown of thorns, basically, for this thing. It's not the roundest, but it took a while, so I'm sticking with it. All right, this better be enough to, uh, protect me from this thing. All right, come on after me, bro. Here he comes, kind of, in a weird way. Hey, look at that, he's not trying to get on top anymore. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're just turning around. Oh no, go, 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 Roomba, go, go, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. We survived. We actually survived. The Doomba actually cleaned up a farm bot. Let's try three farm bots. All right. There we go, three farm bots versus Doomba. And is that pillar gonna be exactly in the wrong spot? Well, it's not gonna matter anymore. Oh boy, the sound is so messed up right now. Of course that pillar is in the wrong spot. Look, right in between, right in between the uh, sensors there. Uh oh. I think I may have crashed the game. Oh no. Oh no, the game is broken right now. So broken. The Doomba has not only cleaned up the battlefield, it has also cleaned up my frames. All right, get on the lift. What are these noises? I lost some sensors. All right, let's delete this. Spawn in a new Doomba. All right, things seem to be fixed now. I think it's calming down. Whatever happened, is now calming down. We got four now. This is the most the Doomba's ever had to deal with. It's working. We're just slowly, like we're casually just walking away from these things. It survived pretty well. It took some hits. I don't think it took any damage that time though. Oh, the, <laughs> the head of the farm bot caused us to turn. I think we have a successfully built Doomba. Look at this. All right, get out of this one, Doomba. I actually may have built the... I don't even know if I left him room to get out of this, to be honest. See what how he handles this. Oh, oh, all right. Can you squeeze out of here? I think he's gonna stop here. No. He's gonna get... He's gonna get stuck here, I think. He's trying. He's trying to get through. Almost. I don't think he can fit, even if he wanted to. Here, why don't I take, uh, I'll shave a couple, couple blocks off of that side. Look, that's all I needed. He just needed those couple of blocks. What's going on over there? What's going on over there? Oh, your sensors aren't detect- Oh, no, we're good, we're good. We've escaped. All right, gotta be honest, navigation-wise, this turned out way better than I thought it was gonna turn out when it, when it comes to the automated AI navigation and avoiding obstacles. I did not expect it to do this well. And when it comes to killing bots, also surpassed expectations. It just literally cleans up the battlefield so easily. So unfortunately, Doomba Roomba cannot be sold on the general marketplace right now. Uh, there's some safety issues. We're still working out with it. Uh, it, ten it tends to clean not just the mess, but also uh, the, the building that you're in as well and the people and uh, everything, everything in its path pretty much. So for those reasons, it is not yet available to the public, but don't worry, at some point, the Doomba will be out there for everyone to enjoy and uh, have a nice clean apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then you definitely enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can check out right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.